Hi everyone, I'm Astrid Daniela Galvez and I count for a living. I live and breathe accounting. I know, I know, not all small business owners feel the same. That's why I've partnered with QuickBooks to help you unpack the fundamentals of accounting and help you running your business a lot easier. Today, we'll go over the chart of accounts. Trust me, you're gonna wanna watch this one all the way through. If you do your chart of accounts right, you'll be able to keep your accounting error free and fairly straightforward. Before I forget, do me a solid and hit that like button. And if you found this video helpful, subscribe to the QuickBooks channel to find more content like this. And if you're more of a reader like me, check out the article below. The chart of accounts is all about being accurate. It's like a balancing act, making sure that assets and liabilities match up. It's almost as cool as catching a wave. But hey, that's just me, because I love to surf. But seriously, it's all about creating an accurate picture of your business's financial standing. The last thing you want is a wipeout. It can be tricky to do. However, it's become a lot easier thanks to accounting software like QuickBooks. To put it simply, the chart of accounts is the index of all the accounts in the general ledger of a business. It includes all the account numbers and names that are relevant to your business. The entries in the chart of account are then used to produce profit and loss statements and balance sheets. In the standard chart of accounts, there are four primary groups. Asset accounts, liability accounts, income accounts, and expense accounts. Now, let's look at each of these groups to explain what's included. Anything of value that your business owns becomes a line in the asset account. This includes fixed assets like property, vehicles, or inventory. This also includes liquid assets such as money in the bank and accounts receivables. The confusion of asset accounts usually comes when depreciating the value of fixed assets as they get older. For example, think of how your car devalues in the first months of ownership. Liability accounts include bank loans, mortgages, taxes to be paid, and bills. Business owners sometimes find it difficult to understand that the money to repay a loan is split in two. Part to pay off the capital and the other part to pay off the interest. This two must be accounted for separately. Next up, let's look at income accounts or money in. Many business owners try to keep the income accounts simple with two categories, goods and services. But this doesn't give you the full picture of how your business operates. With QuickBooks, you can split your income line into each product and service your business offers. It is then easier to identify which parts of your business generates the most revenue to make decisions accordingly. And finally, let's talk about expense accounts. These accounts show the money that's being spent operating your business or money out. When creating your expense accounts, consider subcategories. For instance, if you use multiple shippers to get your goods to your customers, looking into the details of each may help you identify potential savings, therefore generating profit for your business. As you get set up and keep record of your accounts, keep the following in mind. Use clear and descriptive titles when creating your chart of accounts. Too many line items can clutter your books. So use sub-accounts instead to keep things more organized. A bookkeeper, like a QuickBooks Live expert, can help you set up your chart of accounts properly. So you are set up for success. Phew, I hope you got all that. I know it might take a while for you to break through all these accounting fundamentals, but once you've mastered them, it'll be as satisfying as catching that perfect wave. <laughs> if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. 
and to find more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to the QuickBooks channel. See you next time.